Okay, in Objective 5.1 for PowerPoint 2016, there are several steps here in the practice task. And what I want to do is to show you how to work through these. The first says to open the PowerPoint 5.1a and Power 5.1b presentations, and then to arrange the two presentations side by side. And then we're going to do something with those slides. So let me move these instructions out of the way. And here in my file explorer, I see 51A, and I'm going to hold down the control key so that I can select 51A and 51B. I'm going to open them both at once. Right click and click open. You don't have to open them both at once, but you can. And when they open, we'll see them here. And you could slide them around and put them side by side, but the easiest thing to do is simply to click View, and then here in the Windows group on the View tab, come up and select the option here for Arrange All, and it just automatically puts them on each side of your screen. And you'll see up here at the top, notice which one is 5A and which one is 5B. Now, a couple of comments real quickly. If you were to see a yellow bar across the top up here that gave you a warning that said that you need to click to enable editing, then you'll need to do that. Also, if the title up here on the title bar, if it were to say read only, then you're going to have to save this file to your computer before you can do any editing of that file. So make sure that you have saved the file to your computer. And here in my copy of PowerPoint on my computer, it says saved to this PC. So I know that this file is saved locally and that I'm not working with a file that may be up on my OneDrive folder or located in some other location. So make sure that you do editing on a file that is saved to your local computer. All right, so now I have done this first step. I've opened 5.1 A and B and I've arranged the two presentations side by side. Now it says after slide 4 of 5.1 A, and that's the one that's over here on the left. So on slide 4, I'm going to click on slide 4 to make sure that's selected. On slide After slide 4, insert slide 5 from the uh, PowerPoint 5.1 B presentation by dragging it into the presentation. Make sure you read these instructions carefully. So it's telling me here to simply come to the, uh, first of all, I'm going to select slide four, make sure that I have this location identified. I'm going to come over here now to 51B. I'm going to locate slide five, and I'm going to simply click and hold, drag, and drop it right into this space between four and five. And that's one way that you can get a slide out of a different presentation. And that's all that Microsoft is asking you here in this Objective 5.1 practice task. You're going to drag the file over into the other file. And then it says here to close the 5.1b presentation. So we can do that. Let's come up here and close 5.1b. Now it says at the end of the 5.1a presentation, insert the slide titled goals for the coming year from 51B presentation but we just closed the 51B presentation but that's because here they're wanting us to use the skills here for practicing to use that reuse slides command so what we're going to do come into our presentation here we want the slide to be added it says at the end of the 51A presentation so I'm going to select the very last slide here in the presentation and if I'm going to reuse the slide, I'm going to come to F Home, and then I can click on New Slide and Reuse Slides. There's another way to do this, by the way. You can click on Insert, and then New Slide, and come down to Reuse Slides. Exactly the same option, just located in two different places. Now, when I click on Reuse Slide, the Reuse Slide pane opens over here on the right, and it tells me that I'm going to find a file that is called a slide that's filed called goals for the coming year and it's located in the 51B presentation so I'm going to click here to browse to my file 
and all of my files are here in a demo folder so I'm going to open up this 51B and here are all of those files it tells me to look for a slide called goals for the coming year so I come over here and I see it right down here next to the last slide and it tells me that I'm going to insert this at the end this slide right here the next to the last slide I want to insert it over here at the very end of the presentation it's always important to make sure you have the slide selected where you want the inserted slide to go under so I'm going to select this one because I want this inserted slide to go under slide 9 so I'll just come over here and click this once and it just shoots it right over here and then I can simply close the reuse slide pane because I have that slide in there now and then the next step is to open a second instance of the presentation in a separate program window now what this means is we want PowerPoint to have the slide 51A file opened twice so that's what it means here to have a second instance of the program open so I'm going to come back to slide 51A now I've made some changes before I do anything else I'm just going to click to save make sure that everything is good to go and then I'm going to come to view again and here under the view we come over to window and we can simply click on new window and it automatically opens up the same slide into a separate instance of PowerPoint so right here I have PowerPoint 51A and now it gives me a number one it's telling me that this is running in the first instance of PowerPoint and then right here I have now 51A and this is 2 so this is the second instance an instance means that the program is running once or it's running twice and so I have two instances of PowerPoint running here so we're going to open the second instance and now we're going to arrange the two instances side by side so let me move this again and I'll come back over here I'm simply going to click view and I want to arrange these side by side and so now I've got one over here and two over here I think I'll just reverse those so that everything is lining up in a well organized manner I don't want to get confused as I walk through these instructions so we've got one over here on the left and two over here on the right the instructions now say to display slide 4 in the left instance so here is slide 4 in the left instance and slide 5 in the right instance so I'll just slide this over here to the right instance and here is slide 5 and it says to verify that the merged slide has taken on the formatting of the presentation I think this must be a misprint because what they're wanting us to see here is they're wanting us to see that slide 5 over here matches what we see here in slide 5 so when we drag the file over and placed it there then this really should show here slide 5 and they're asking us to make sure show you the instructions again this probably should say display slide 5 in the left instance and slide 5 in the right instance and verify that the merge slide has taken on the formatting of the presentation so we simply look here at the formatting and we can see that this slide here on the left looks just exactly like the one does over here on the right and so at this point we have finished all of the steps down through here and it tells us now that we can compare what we've got with the results presentation and that will be in your folder for review. In the next video, we'll take a look at the instructions here for the 5C presentation.